Hello everyone. In today's video, I am going to discuss about an algorithm that can be used in order to solve the modular linear equation. Assume that if there is a modular linear equation of the form ax congruent to b mod n, where a and n are greater than uh, zero, then we can uh, uh, solve this particular modular linear linear equation with the help of the extended euclid's algorithm that we have discussed in the previous uh, video now solving this type of modular linear equation has so many application one such application is the generation of the decryption uh, key in case of the rsa algorithm we know that rsa is a popular public key crypto system wherein we use two keys Uh, one key in order to encrypt uh, uh, the data and one more key to uh, decrypt generally we use the public key for encryption and the private key for uh, decryption the generation of the private key which is basically used in order to decrypt the data there we use uh, a modular linear equation something like this in order to generate in order to generate the decryption uh, key now what do you mean by this linear equation in the sense assume that there is a modular linear equation denoted with uh, 12x equivalent to equivalent or congruent to 6 mod 15 now in in this case what is the value of a a value is 12 b value is 6 and n value is 15 now what we are supposed to find is we are supposed to find the value of x we need to find the value of x such that when we multiply that value of x with 12 and when performed a mod operation on 15 it should result in 6 in the sense i should find 12x i should perform uh, i should find the value of x such that when 12 multiplied by x perform a mod operation on 15 it should result in 6 it should result in 6 uh, now one such value is x is equal to if i have x is equal to uh, 3 now what is uh, uh, 12 into 3 12 into 3 is 36 so 36 mod 15 so what is 36 mod 15 so 36 divided by 15 is to remainder is 6 so one such value is x is equal to uh, 3 now let me have one more value let me assume that x is equal to 8 now what happens is 12 into 8 mod 15 twelve, 8 is uh, uh, 12 8 is uh, 12 8 is 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 12 8
I need to find, I need to call the extended Euclid's algorithm for A and N. A and N. A value is 12 and N value is 15. So, I'll prepare a table as what we have done earlier. A, this is N. N in the sense in the previous video I have used the variable name as B. This was extended Euclid's for A comma B. Now, here it is N. So, N or in bracket let me call it as B itself. And what was the third column? Third column was A divided by, that is floor of A divided by B. A divided by B or maybe in this case N. Let me, let's not confuse with N. Let me call it as B itself. B is nothing but N. Now what is the initial value of A? A value, what is A here? A is 12 and N is 15. So A value is 12 and this is 15. Now 12 divided by 15 is 0 point something. The floor of this is 0. Now in the next iteration what happens? As you know that it will be 15 here. 15 here. And then as A is lesser than B, we will have an extra uh, recursive call. This is 15 and uh, 12. 15 divided by 12 is 1 point something. Floor of that is 1. Next this is 12 here. 15 mod 12. Remainder is 3. So 12 divided by 3 is 4, next 3 comes here and 12 divided by 3, 12 divided by 3 is 4, remainder is 0. So this will be 0. So 3 is 0 and this is infinite. Okay. This is 3 divided by 0, nothing. So this where, now what is the value of D? D value was 3. Now, what we did in case of the extended Euclid's algorithm, we calculated the value of x, x and y. x and y. That I, I used to call it as dx dash and y dash. So, initially, I know that the Euclid's algorithm is going to end whenever I have a value of b is equal to 0. So, in this case, so this x and y initial value will be 1 and 0 because it is 3 into 1 plus 0 into 0 is a 3. I got my uh, 3. Now I should find the other values of x and y such that all my d values will be 3. I need to find this. Now how we have calculated? We have calculated. That means I know that for this iteration my y, y value will be x. Now I need to find this y dash. Now how, how to find this y dash? y dash is equal to, if you, have, if you remember, y dash is equal to x dash minus a divided by b into y dash. So what is x dash? x dash is this value 1. 1 minus a divided by b. a divided b by b is 4. 4 into 0. So 1 minus 0 is 1. So this was 1. Now this y will be the value of x for the next iteration. Now what about this y? This y is, I will call it as y dash. So this is x dash minus a divided by b into y dash. What is x dash? This is 0. 0 minus a divided by b is 1. 1 into 1. So 0 minus 1 is minus 1. This I got it as minus 1. Now go for this step. So this is minus 1. So y dash is equal to x dash minus a divided by b into y dash. So what is x dash? x dash is 1. 1 minus a divided by b is 0. 0 into the y dash is minus 1. So this is once again 1. Now please check please check whether I get a value of 3 in all this 3 iteration. So it is 12 into 0 plus 1 into 3 is 3. Fine. Next, 12 into 1, sorry, 15 into 1 is 15. 15 minus 1 into 12 is 15 minus 12 is 3 once again. Now, coming to this case, so this is 3, 12 into, uh, sorry, 12 into minus 1 is minus 12. Minus 12, uh, 15 into 1 plus 15. Plus 15 minus 12 is 3. Now, this was the extended Euclid's algorithm. Until here, it is uh, fine now. Now we have calculated the values of all x and y, all x and y such that when I perform the operation, when I perform the operation, d is equal to ax plus by. Here b is nothing but n. n by, I got my value as a d. Now once this is done, I should go for the next step. Next step states that if d divides b. Now what is the value of d? d is 3 and what is my d? So I got my d value as 3 and b value as 6. Now when I write the statements, it says that, that means 
द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस इज बी डिवाइड्स बी नो वेदर वेदर सिक्स इज डिविजिबल बाय थ्री आई शुड ओके प्लीज रीड इट इन द रिवर्स फैशन इट सेज दैट द डी डिवाइड्स बी दैट मींस ये सिक्स डिविजिबल बाय थ्री यस सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री इज टू सो दैट कंडीशन इज ट्रू नो इफ डी इफ बी वैल्यू वाज एट If b value was eight, eight divide uh, is three is uh, three divides eight. No, that is false. Now in this case, as b value is six, this condition is true. If d divides b, condition is true. I need to find the value of x naught. X naught is calculated as x dash b divided by d into mod n. Now what is this x naught? X naught is equal to x dash. X dash is the Uh, value of x in the first iteration it is minus 1 it is minus 1 into b divided by uh, d b is 6 divided by uh, d is uh, 3 mod uh, what is the value of n n value is uh, 15 now what is this this is uh, minus 1 into 6 divided by 3 is 2 minus 1 into 2 mod 15 so this is minus 2 mod 15 Now, whenever I get a negative value here, minus two mod n mod fifteen. Now, what this implies is the value of x naught will be the value of x naught will be the value that I need to add to this two such that when adding that number to this two and divided by fifteen, it should give me a remainder as zero. I repeat once again. In order to solve this, x naught is equal to minus two mod fifteen. to find this value of x not i need to add a value to this 2 please note that it is not minus 2 i need to add i need a value to be added to this 2 such that when i divide the summation with 15 i should get the remainder as 0 now i know that the value that i need to add to this 2 is a 13 Is a thirteen. Thirteen plus two is fifteen. Fifteen mod fifteen is zero. Hence, this x not value is x not value is thirteen. X not value is thirteen. Now I got this x not. Now from this x not, I need I can find the other uh, uh, values of x. So for i is equal to zero to d minus one. Now what is the value of d? D value is three. So how many iteration I will have? I will have three iteration. That is i is equal to zero as first iteration. I is equal to one the second iteration. I is equal to two the next iteration. In each of these iteration, I can find the value of x. Now how to find the value of x? X can be calculated as x naught. So what is x naught here? So in this iteration, the value of x will be is equal to thirteen plus i. I is what is I? I value is zero. Zero multiplied by whole thing n divided. That means zero divided multiplied by n is fifteen. Fifteen by three, three mod mod fifteen. Now zero multiplied by something is zero. So this is thirteen mod fifteen. Thirteen mod fifteen. What is thirteen mod fifteen? It is thirteen only. So the first value of x which solves this linear equation is thirteen. Now we saw earlier that the uh, the other values that we got were uh, three and eight. Now let's uh, try whether we get that three and eight in the next two iteration. So in the next iteration, so this is x not thirteen plus. Only thing is I need to change the value of this i. I needs to be changed from zero to one. One fifteen by three whole thing mod fifteen. Now what is this? This is thirteen plus fifteen by three is five. Five into one is five. Five mod fifteen. So this is eighteen mod fifteen. Now what is eighteen mod fifteen? It is three. So the next value of x I got as three. Let me go for one more iteration. I is equal to two. So this is thirteen into two into five. Two into five whole thing mod fifteen. So how much is this? Thirteen plus ten is twenty-three. Twenty-three mod fifteen is eight. So I got my x value. I got my x value. What are the x value of x? X values are one. The first one was thirteen. Uh, the second value of x I got was three, and the third value of x I got it as eight. 
If you want, we can uh, check it. So x is equal to 3. 12 into 3 is 36. 36 mod 15 is 6. Next, 8. 12 8s is 96. 96 mod 15. Remainder is uh, 6. Next, 13. 12 into 13. I will, uh, will check for this. Uh, 13 into 12. 12 3s are 36. 3 carry. 12 ones are 12. 156. 156 mod 15. Mod 15. 156 tens are 150. Remainder is 6. I got the remainder as 6. This is how we solve, we solve the modular linear equation with the help of the extended uh, Euclid's algorithm. Note that this is very helpful whenever we try to generate the decryption key in case of the RSA algorithm. Hope this was clear. Thank you.